thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, OPCAT LA, FILSAT, college entrance exams, and all of those things. Now, today, this video in particular is actually going to be helpful. Kait na hindi ka mag exam, if you're uh, a mom or a tita who knows anyone that's elementary or high school level, baka makatulong din ito sa kanila. So, feel free to share this with them. Today, we're going to talk about part four ng ating revamped series on fractions. Ito yung subtracting fractions, okay? A few weeks back, si Ate Anne, yung moderator natin or admin natin for the Team Like uh, Facebook group, uh, actually put up a series of questions on subtracting fractions and marami ang naguluhan dun sa solution doon. And this is kind of my answer then. And I'm going to explain kung ano yung second na method on how you can subtract fractions. If this is the first video that you're watching from this channel and you want more, again, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para malaman nyo as soon as a new video posts. If you want to reach out to me directly, request a topic that you want me to discuss or maybe just get the reviewers that I make or uh, basically learn more because I post new content on sa Facebook page natin every week. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Okay? So like I said, two methods na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. And if you haven't um, watched yung first two videos natin on fractions, in which I discussed yung how to convert or transform fractions and also how to how to uh, find the LCD, don't forget to click right here sa taas to catch up. Kasi mas maganda if naintindihan nyo na yun bago kayo pumunta dito. Kasi gagamitin natin yung skills doon for this topic. Alright? Now, if you've already seen those, let's go ahead and uh, dive into yung lesson natin for today. I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you a lot better. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do this. Let's talk about subtracting fractions. So, ang um, suggestion ko, if hindi nyo pa napapanood yung previous video ko on adding fractions, watch that first. Actually, magkahawig yung principles na gagamitin natin dito. You're also used in transforming fractions, converting fractions, and yung uh, finding the least common denominator. I already posted videos on that. Click dito sa bandang taas ng inyong video para makita ninyo yung videos niya kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood. Because it's going to be hard for you to understand this concept kung hindi kayo solid dun sa mga yun. That's the thing about math kasi. And that's the reason why people find math hard. It's not really because math is hard per se, but because hindi maganda yung foundation nila, hindi maganda yung, uh, yung kanilang uh, pundasyon. Diba parang nagtatayo ka ng bahay kung hindi solid or hindi patuyo yung cemento dun sa, sa iyong poste. Huwag na huwag ka maglalagay ng floor dun kasi babagsak at masisira lang din yun. Okay? So, let's talk about subtracting fractions. Ito. Again, the same rule applies. They have to have the same last name. By last name, we mean denominator. Number sa ilalim. Okay? So, how do you achieve that? That's how uh, we should uh, do it. Kasi hindi ka pwedeng basta mag-add na lang 2 plus 1 is 3. Walang maitutulong ito sa proseso na to. Para mapagpareho mo sila, you have to find the LCD. Okay, again, I discussed that in earlier video already. So, ang least common uh, denominator nila, or least common multiple ng 3 at 6 ay 6. So, over 6, gagawin mo siyang over 6 pareho. Yung 3 para maging 6, times 2 mo yan. So, yung, yung ginawa mo sa ilalim, gagawin mo rin sa ibabaw para i-convert yung fraction na yan. So, this will be 4 over 6. Again, ang concept kasi is 4 over 6 is still equal to 2 over 3. Kung baga, it's the same thing, pinalaki mo lang. Okay? Parang yung nag-shape nag, uh, ka ng uh, image sa Microsoft Word or anywhere, kiklik mo lang yung, yung sa taas na box, tapos hihilayin mo siya. Pero pinapalaki mo lang siya ng, ng pinapalaki. Okay? So, 4 over 6 minus... 1 over 6. Ngayon, ang pinaka gusto kong indote sa inyo is this. Sa addition, okay lang na magkapalit sila ng pwesto. Okay? Mailagay mo yung 1 dito, yung 4 doon. But sa subtraction, never mo sila pwede pagpalitin ng pwesto. Kung nauuna yung number na ito, dito, yung number na yan or equivalent niyan should be on the left side din. So, 4 minus 1 over 6. So, the answer would be 3 over 6 and then ilo lowest terms natin siya dahil pwede siyang i-divide pareho sa 3. Gagawin mo siyang 1 over 2 or 1 half. Okay? So, yun yung proseso. Ito yung basic process ng subtracting fractions. It only starts to become tricky when you have things like this. This is basically a mixed number. Okay? So, mixed number sila pareho. And you have to find kung ano daw yung kanilang difference. So, what do you do with this? Again, same thing with addition. You have two options. I'm going to present you with each option. And then you get to choose kung ano yung mas comfortable kayong 
gamitin. Okay? Yung first option natin is the traditional route. First step is to convert them into improper fractions. Next, you're going to get the LCD. Tapos, subtract the numerators and then convert them back into mixed numbers. So, how do you do that? Again, this is the same example kanina do sa previous slide natin. If a follow lang natin yung suggested process right here. Okay? So, convert them into improper fractions muna. How do you do that? Okay? 2 times 5 plus 1, that is 11. Over 5 minus, again, bawal mo pagpalitin ng pwesto yan. So, make sure na tama yung pagkakakopya. You have 1 times 4, which is 4 plus 1, that is 5. Over 4. That's the first step. Okay? Convert mo into improper fractions pareho. Next step, get the LCD. So, LCD, 5 and 4. Ang LCD niyan is 20. So, 5 times 4, ang ginawa mo dito para maging 20 siya. So, it, yung nasa ilalim, times 4 mo nasa ibabo, ito times 4 mo rin. So, that is going to be 44 over 20. Minus, yung 4 para maging 20, ginawa mo, binultiply mo siya sa 5. So, yung, num yung number sa taas, imumultiply mo rin sa 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. Next step, you're going to subtract the numerators. So, 44 minus 25. So, 44 minus 25. Okay? So, again, kung hindi tayo masyado solid pa sa chunking, you can start carrying, di ba? Kakansal mo ito, babaro ka dyan. Fort, magiging 14 yan. Okay? This is just simple subtraction, right? So, magiging 3 yan. Ito magiging 14. So, this will be 14 minus 5 or 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, the answer is 19 over 20. And then, if possible, you can convert them back into mixed numbers. But in this case, since... Yung 19 ay mas maliit na kesa sa 20. Yan na yung final answer mo. Wala ka nang kailangan gawin. 19 over 20 na ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, ito yung proseso. Again, if you use the traditional method, convert mo siya into improper fractions. Now, uh, the thing is, ang problema dito, pag malalaki yung numbers, imagine kung ang sinusubtract mo ay 12 and 1 fifth. You will have to deal with numbers like 61 over 5, or kung mas malaki pa yung numerator mo, kung 1 over 14 yan, again, it's going to be harder and harder pag mas malaki yung number na pinag-uusapan. And again, mas maganda kasi, if meron na kayong onting clue sa kung ano yung tama sagot, by first dealing with the whole number sa problem. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Here's another method that you can use. Okay, so again, same, same ang ating fraction dito. Alam na natin ang sagot kanina is 19 over 20. No? Tingnan natin if we're going to get the same answer using this method. First, get the LCD of the fractions. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin? Hindi, hindi ko papakailaman yung whole numbers. LCD agad ng fractions. Yung fractions which is yung 1 fifth and 1 fourth. LCD niya is 20 right away. Yun agad yung gagawin ko. So may nakaabang na akong over 20. Next step, you ask yourself, can you subtract the numerators? Okay? Pwede ko na ba siya i-subtract? So, kung i-convert ko kasi siya sa over 20, again, same thing lang na ginawa natin kanina, 5 times uh, 4 yan, so that is going to give you uh, 20. So, yung taas i-multiply mo rin sa 4, so you're going to have 4. And then, minus well, 1 times 4, which is going to give you 5, right? So, 5 over 20. So, ang tanong again, can you subtract the numerators? If you notice, yung 4, yung nauunang number, is bigger, is, is smaller than the preceding number. So, ang 4 minus 5, negative yan, right? So, you cannot subtract the numerators, okay? Kung yes kasi, dire-diretso lang yun, and then you're going to subtract the whole numbers right away. But since hindi mo siya mo pwedeng gawin like that, and the answer is no, okay? You're going to do something different, okay? Kapag yes, again, solve it down. Pag no, hindi, pa, hindi, hindi pwedeng basta-basta, no? So, what do you do? Ganito. Yung whole numbers, kanina, di ba? 2 minus 1. Automatic kasi yan, eh. 2 minus 1, ano na yan, obviously, mababawasan agad ng isa yan. Again, wag na muna ng galawin yan, ha? Ang tinitignan natin dito is just the fractions muna. Okay? Kung no ang sagot, here's what's going to happen. And I want you to pay attention to this part kasi baka maiwan kayo, no? Ganito ang gagawin ninyo. Yung 2 na ito, Okay, kasi mag, technically that is 2 and 4 over 20 minus 1 and 5 over 20, right? Ang gagawin mo ganito, okay? Yung 2 na yan, 
Dalawang 20 yan, right? Dalawang 20 over 20 yan. Uutang ako ng isa. So that would be 1 and another 20 over 20 plus yung 4 over 20 mo. Okay? This will happen in your brain. Nilalagay ko lang siya dito for visual reference. Okay? Again, bakit? Kasi yung 20 over 20, that is just basically 1 plus another 1 plus 4 over 20. So equal lang siya. Walang nagbabago. Pinaghiwalay ko lang to. Tung two, uh, one at saka sa two, 20 over 20. So actually, you can write this, again, it's still the same fraction, you can write this as 1 and 24 over 20. And then minus 1 and 5 over 20. In this case, okay, dahil obvious na obvious na, na wala ka nang kailangan galawin na whole numbers, dahil nakuha mo lahat ng kailangan mong gawin, Pwede mo, na lang, pwede mo nang diretsuhin yung 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0, right? So, makakancel na yan. Makawala na yan kasi 1 minus 1 is 0. And then, you have 24 over 20 minus 5 over 20. At kapag pareho na sila ng, ng denominator, gagawin mo lang is isusubtract mo yung numbers sa taas. So, you have 24 minus 5 over, again, 20. This will be 19 over 20. And then, ask yourself, okay, after you borrow from the whole number, can I still, can I now convert this into a mixed number? Since hindi, edi yun na yung final answer mo. And again, if you notice, it's the same answer as yung nakuha natin kanina. So again, itong concept na to na you can borrow from the whole number na nauuna, you can use this when mas malaki yung number na nasa right side. Okay? And the thing is, ang beauty nito, kung hindi siya mas malaki, this will make the entire process easier. Okay? Let me give you a quick example. Okay? Okay. So, we have a different example right here. Again, we're going to use the same concept. Kanina kasi mas mahirap yung example na yun kasi mas malaki yung fraction dito sa, re sa right side kasi dito sa left. This time, hindi siya ganun. Okay? So, we're going to follow through the entire process just with a different example right here. Kasi baka maiwan kayo dito or baka ma mas maguluhan kayo dito. So, let let's give this technique a chance. And again, Kung hindi talaga ito kaya ma-figure out, use the first option yung tinuro sa school. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo dito, again, get the LCD of the fraction. So, 5 and 3. LCD niyan is 15. Okay? So, this will be, uh, ita times 3 ko siya. So, ita times 3 ko rin sa taas. So, that is 12 over 15 minus, ito, ita times 5 ko yan. So, that is 5 over 15. Okay? Now, next question, can I subtract the numerators? 12 minus 5 ba? Pwede? Pwede. Kasi ang sagot doon would just be 7 over 15. So, kung yes ang sagot, madali na ang buhay mo, ang gagawin mo na lang, tinan mo yung whole numbers, 3 minus 1 is 2, kokopyin mo lang siya. 2 and 7 over 15. It's that easy, actually. If hindi mo kailangan mag-borrow. Pero kung kailangan mo mag-borrow, you can follow the other example that I used. Again, what you would do would just take one whole from the whole uh, number right here, Convert that into the fraction and then add it here. Okay? Kasi yung iba naguguluhan dito sa technique na ito. Okay? Again, at any point, hindi talaga ma-figure out, use the other one. Okay? Alright. So, uh, it's time for a quick quiz. If at any point you feel na hindi mo masyado maintindihan ito or nahihirapan kayo, you can always go back to the lesson and find out kung ano yung part na naguluhan kayo. I'll give you three minutes for this kasi we have three questions. And at the end of the, th the three minutes that I'm going to give to you, I'm going to discuss how to get the correct answers. Alright? So, are you ready? Let's do this.
All right, let's try kung ano ang uh, dapat gawin dito. Okay, we're, we're going to take it one question at a time kasi kailangan ng space sa fractions. Okay, so ito tayo sa number 1 muna. 8 over 9 minus 2 over 3. Okay, so again, LCD. By now, you should be really good at it. LCD natin is just 9. Okay, and since wala kang binago dito, you just copy it. So, 8 minus, and then yung 3, the times 3 ko yan para maging 9. So, it times 3 ko rin ito. So, that would give you 6. Okay, so 8 minus 6, yung numerators natin lang gagalawin natin. 8 minus 6 is 2. Copy ko ano yung ito dito. That is 2 over 9. So, the answer is 2 over 9. Wala naman na akong pwedeng i-divide dyan. Wala silang factor na pareho. So, that is your final answer. I hope you got that right. Next, this is a little bit harder, again, kasi may mga mixed numbers na tayo dito, pero what's the point of discussing the easy parts lang? Kung biglang ang lalabas exam pala ay ganito, so kailangan rin to pag-usapan. Okay? So again, uh, we're going to follow my preferred method, which is yung option 2, pero kung ang ginamit yung option 1, okay lang, basta makuha nyo yung tamang sagot. Hindi naman iti-check ng proctor ninyo yung inyong solution. Unless grade schooler kayo and you're doing this for homework, in that case, you will have to show your solution. Okay? So, ang first step natin, hindi natin gagalawin. Fractions lang muna titignan natin. So, ang hinahanap natin ay LCD ng 4 at 12. Ang LCD nila is 12. Kasi ang 12 ay multiple ng 4. 4 times 3 is 12, actually. So, pwede mo na i-convert ito. Ta times 3 lang natin siya. So, 4 uh, times 3 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3. So, we have 3 and then minus 5 over 12. Ang problema is this, no? Kasi 3 minus 5, negative 2 yan. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya ganun kadali. Okay? Hindi siya ganun kadali. So, ang gagawin natin, we will borrow. Ito yung in-explain ko kanina. Okay? So, ang mangyayari dito would be this. Yung 2 and 1 fourth will be 1 and, since ito ay 3 over 12, no? You have 1 and 12 over 12 at 3 over 12. Minus 1 and 5 over 12. So you have here 1 and 12 plus 3 is 15 over 12 minus 1 and 5 over 12. So this will be, since yung 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 na yan, makakancel na yan. You have 15 over 12 minus 5 over 12. 15 minus 5 is 10. Kokopihin mo lang numbers sa ilalim which is 12. At dahil pwede mo pa siya i-lowest terms, pwede pa siya i-divide pareho sa 2, okay? This will be 5 over 6. Oh, wala ka nang pwedeng galawin dyan kasi wala na silang factor. So, the answer is 5 over 6, okay? So, again, I hope you got this right. Kung ginamit nyo yung traditional method, what you would do here would be 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that is 9 over 4, minus, and then you have 1 times 12 is 12, plus 5 is 17 over 12. And then, what you could do here would be, again, i over 12 mo lang siya. Tinimes 3 ko to. So, times 3 ko rin sa taas. So, you have 27 over 12 minus 17 over 12, which will give you 20 over, eh, which will give you 10, sorry, 10 over 12 kasi 27 minus 17 is 10 over 12. Lowest terms mo, 5 over 6 pa rin siya. So, again, same answer. Okay? So, kahit anong preferred method mo, you'll still get the same answer. Okay? One more chance. Tinan natin yung number 3. Alright, let's see kung uh, nakuha nyo ng tama. Okay? So, yeah, 4 and 8 over 15 minus 1 and 9 over 10. So, ang gagawin natin dito is just get the LCD. Yung 15 and 10, that is 30. Tinimes 2 ko to, so times 2 ko rin sa taas, that is 16. Tinimes 3 ko to, para maging 30, so times 3 ko to, that is 27. So, 16 minus 27. The problem here is, again, cannot be negative yan. There's actually a method for you to use that, yung negative na lang, isusubtract mo na lang siya sa final answer. But since that can be really tough for some people, hindi ko na i-discuss yun, okay? Uh, sa susunod na lang siguro, if you have extra time, I'll show you how to do it, okay? Pero for now, stick to these two options na muna. So, hindi siya pwede, so you will have to borrow, okay? How do we do that? So, yung 4, okay, and uh, 4 and 16 over 30, ang gagawin natin magiging 3 plus, uh, 30 over 30 plus 16 over 30. So, again, kasi pareho lang naman yan. 30 over 30 is equal to 1, okay? So, you have 3 and 46 over 30 ang mangyayari minus 1 and 27 over 
30. So, yung 46 at saka 27, pwede ko nang isubtract yan. Okay? So, 46 minus 27, that is 9. Ba borrow lang tayo dito kasi. So, magiging 3 ito, 19. So, the answer here would be 3 minus 1, which is 2, and you have your 19 over 30. So, the answer is 2 and 19 over 30. Okay? So, again, kahit na ginamit ninyo yung method na nag-multiply kayo, so this becomes 68 over 15 minus 19 over 10, tapos ginawa mo siyang over 30 pareho, so times 2 mo to, that is 120, 136 over 30 minus 19 times 3, which is 30 plus 27, 57 over 30. Again, ito yung point na... Iniiwasan ko kaya ako ginagamit yung method na yun kasi ayoko ng big numbers na ganito pagdating sa exam. So, 136 minus 57, 136 minus 57, that is 9. Tapos, ito magiging 12 na lang siya. So, you have 7 here. So, the answer here would be 79 over 30. Tapos, i-convert ko siya into mixed number. So, yung 79, i-divide ko pa ngayon siya sa 30. Meron kang dalawang 30 doon, 60, tapos may remainder kang 19. So, the answer is 2 and 19 over 30. So, again, if you notice, same naman yung answer. So, kung ano man yung method na ginamit ninyo, whatever works for you, use that. As long as careful kayo, you will always get the right answer. Okay? So, if you have the copy of the workbook, go ahead and solve the activities doon yung subtracting fractions natin dyan. Meron tayo dyan sa workbook ninyo. Sagutan nyo yan para makakuha kayo na more, more practice and more confidence. You can try each method and find out kung ano yung mas mabilis kayo. Kasi ang key naman sa exams ay speed. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo na mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And like I said kanina, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon para ninyo mamiss yung kasunod sa series na ito. I'm excited to teach those din sa inyo. And if you have any questions, want to reach out, maybe request a topic that you want me to discuss, get the reviewers, attend the live review events, or join the online review program, you can go to www.caseo.com slash team like I. I would love to hear back from you. So thank you guys for watching. Aja, aja. Kaya nga, I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.